The Florida Everglades, a wild, beautiful expanse, has always been home to danger. But recently, a chilling mystery emerged. Scattered across the wetlands, biologists began finding massive Burmese pythons, dead and beheaded. These apex predators, once thought untouchable, were now victims of a brutal, unknown force. The bodies were left behind, heads missing, the wounds ragged and violent, not the work of human hunters. What could possibly decapitate a full-grown python? The discoveries kept coming, each one deepening the mystery. Pythons, with few natural enemies in Florida, were suddenly being hunted. Theories swirled, alligators, panthers or something else. Alligators dismember prey with a death roll, but these kills were different, clean, calculated. Panthers are rare, unlikely to account for so many kills. With every new headless python, the question grew louder. What native force was fighting back against the invaders? The Everglades had a new, shadowy predator and scientists were determined to uncover its identity. To understand the mystery, you need to know how Burmese pythons became Everglades giants. Originally from Southeast Asia, these snakes arrived via the exotic pet trade. Cute as hatchlings, they grew into massive, unmanageable adults, many released into the wild by overwhelmed owners. The Everglades proved a perfect home, warm, wet, and full of prey. With no natural predators, the python population exploded, devastating native mammals. Raccoons, opossums, and rabbits vanished from core python territory. The ecosystem's balance was shattered as pythons outcompeted native predators. Florida launched hunting programs and research, but the snakes proved elusive and resilient. Finding and removing them is a monumental task. That's why the emergence of a natural predator, something targeting these invaders, was electrifying for conservationists. Could nature itself be fighting back? As the body count rose, a sense of urgency swept through the Florida Everglades. The mysterious death sent shockwaves through the scientific community, raising alarm bells among conservationists and wildlife experts alike. Scientists mobilized to solve the mystery, assembling teams with diverse expertise, ecologists, field biologists, and forensic specialists, all determined to uncover the truth behind the killings. Teams from the Conservancy of Southwest Florida began documenting every kill site, meticulously recording details and searching for even the smallest clues that might reveal the predator's identity. Bite marks, tracks, and the way carcasses were left behind all pointed to a cunning predator, one that was both elusive and highly skilled at covering its tracks. Many python bodies were partially buried, a behavior called caching, typical of feline hunters, suggesting a calculated and practiced killer at work. That narrowed the suspects. Florida panther or bobcat. Both are stealthy, both are powerful, but only one could be responsible for such bold attacks. Panthers are rare, their territories vast, and their movements almost ghost-like through the dense Everglades wilderness. Bobcats are smaller. Could one really kill a giant python? The idea seemed almost unbelievable, yet the evidence hinted at the impossible. The evidence was tantalizing, but speculation wasn't enough. The scientific method demanded hard proof, not just educated guesses. Researchers needed proof, footage of the killer in action, something irrefutable that could finally solve the mystery. The challenge, these events happened deep in the wild, far from human eyes, in places where few dared to venture. Scientists raced to find a fresh kill and set up surveillance before the predator returned, hoping to catch the elusive hunter in the act. It was a wildlife detective story, blending old-school tracking skills with cutting-edge technology as the team pieced together the puzzle. The stage was set for a breakthrough, and anticipation hung thick in the humid air. The hunt for the Everglades phantom killer was on and the next discovery could change everything we thought we knew about these wild lands. The breakthrough came with a python named Loki, a scout snake tracked by scientists via radio transmitter. Loki was no ordinary python, he was part of a bold experiment to use the snakes themselves as tools in the fight against their own invasion. By following Loki's movements researchers hoped to uncover the secret lives of these elusive predators and gain the upper hand in the battle for the Everglades. Loki had led researchers to countless python nests, helping control the population. Each nest he revealed meant dozens of eggs removed from the ecosystem, slowing the relentless spread of these invasive giants. For months, Loki's trail was a lifeline for the team, offering rare glimpses into the hidden world of the pythons. One day, Loki's signal went still. The sudden silence was alarming. A team set out, following the transmitter deep into Collier County, pushing through thick sawgrass and murky water, 
determined to find out what had happened to their most valuable scout. They found Loki's massive body, beheaded, neck gnawed, head missing. The grisly scene was unlike anything they'd encountered before. The scene was fresh, the body partially covered with vegetation, a classic sign of caching. It was clear that whatever had killed Loki intended to return. Claw marks in the hide confirmed a violent struggle with a sharp-clawed predator. The evidence pointed to a powerful animal, one capable of taking down a full-grown python. For the first time, researchers had a fresh kill and a perfect opportunity. The mystery of what could prey on such a formidable snake was suddenly within reach. They knew the predator would likely return to its cached meal. This was a rare chance to observe the Everglades' hidden food chain in action. Quickly they set up a trail camera hoping to capture the killer in action. Every second counted. The team worked with urgency and precision. The team worked fast, knowing this was their best chance. If they missed this window, the truth might slip away forever. Loki's death was a loss, but it could finally solve the mystery. The trap was set, and anticipation hung thick in the humid air. The ghost of the Everglades was about to be revealed. For years, rumors had swirled about what could challenge the python's reign. Now, the answer was within reach. Would the camera catch the elusive predator? The team waited, breathless for the Everglades to give up its secret. With Loki's body carefully positioned as bait, the research team set up a motion-activated trail camera deep in the heart of the Florida Everglades. Their goal was simple but ambitious, to catch the mysterious predator in the act and finally solve the puzzle of what, or who, had taken down the massive python. Then, they waited in anticipation, knowing the Everglades is a place where secrets rarely stay hidden for long. The predator didn't stay away for long. Just hours after sunset, the camera's infrared sensor was triggered by movement in the darkness. When the team reviewed the footage the next morning, what they saw left them speechless. It wasn't a powerful panther or a pack of coyotes, but a single, surprisingly small, adult bobcat, no more than 25 pounds, creeping up to the 52-pound python's remains. The bobcat, undeterred by the python's size, tugged at the carcass and began to feed, displaying a confidence and boldness rarely seen in such encounters. This was the elusive killer, a native predator, agile and cunning, taking on a giant invader and punching far above its weight class. A necropsy on Loki provided the final, irrefutable proof. A broken bobcat claw embedded deep in the snake's flesh. The mystery was solved, and the case was closed. The discovery sent shockwaves through the conservation community, sparking excitement and hope among scientists and wildlife advocates alike. Against all odds a bobcat had managed to take down an apex invader, shifting the delicate balance of power in the Everglades ecosystem. This was no accident or stroke of luck, it was a calculated act of predation, a testament to the resilience and adaptability of native wildlife. The evidence was undeniable, the home team was fighting back, and for the first time, the tables had turned in favor of the native species. For the first time ever, a native mammal had been caught on camera defeating a giant python. An extraordinary moment in Everglades history. The Everglades had a new hero, and its story was just beginning to unfold. The bobcat's victory was more than a wildlife oddity. It was a turning point. For years pythons seemed unstoppable, with no natural enemies. Now, a native predator had learned to hunt them. This act of defiance showed the Everglades' resilience. Nature was adapting, fighting back against the invaders. The bobcat didn't just get lucky, it exploited a weakness and executed a successful hunt. This event hinted at a crucial shift native predators might be learning to see pythons as prey. It's a vital step toward restoring balance, making pythons just another player in the ecosystem. The discovery brought hope to conservationists. Human intervention remains essential, but now, nature has new allies. The Everglades story isn't just one of loss, it's one of adaptation and survival. The fight for Florida's wild heart has a new chapter. The bobcat's feet wasn't an isolated case. Researchers soon found evidence that other native predators were adapting too. In another incident, a black bear was suspected of killing a python. Bears rarely hunt snakes, but the evidence was clear. Cold snaps make pythons sluggish, giving mammals like bobcats and bears an advantage. This suggests a broader behavioral shift. Native predators are learning to hunt the invaders. Young bobcats may even learn python hunting from their mothers. Alligators too, have been seen battling pythons, sometimes with deadly results. The Everglades' native animals are refusing to be driven out, 
the bobcat stands as a symbol for all the wild defenders reclaiming their home. What began as a grim mystery has become a story of hope and resilience. The Burmese python invasion is still a grave threat, but native predators are fighting back. The ecosystem is not broken, it's healing, adapting, and finding new balance. Human intervention remains critical, but nature is proving to be a powerful ally. Protecting native predators strengthens the Everglades' own immune system. A healthy ecosystem is a resilient one, better able to withstand invaders. The bobcat's victory is a testament to the importance of every species in the wild. Even in the face of overwhelming odds, nature finds a way. The Everglades' defenders are scoring victories, one bloody encounter at a time. This is a new chapter for Florida's wild heart, a glimmer of a wilder, more resilient future. The battle isn't over, but hope is alive in the river of grass. The Everglades story is far from finished, 